Hey folks at home, this is a really quick way of showing you guys how to do the ticker tape timer lab and graphing motion. All we need is a few clueless assist, I mean really <laughs> wonderful students that will help you. So step number one, your ticker tape timer and your stopwatch, hmm, first thing you got to do is pull it through like maybe for five seconds and count the dots. First thing is put the ticker tape timer underneath the little spark. And then you're going to push this button and you got to hold the button down. So you might need a friend for this because you need to pull it for five seconds. Oh, you're doing it all by yourself. I don't record yet. Back. What you're going to do if you're all alone is to hold the button and the tape at the exact same time. What you're going to do is start moving your hand with the stopwatch right before you start turning this thing on. And then, so move. And then let go, and then look and see how much time passed while you were doing that. Okay? So, you got to do it on your own. That's what you're going to do. Go. Where am I going? All right. Now, if you do have a friend, <laughs> <laughs> you hold down this button at the exact same time you push the stopwatch. When you shut off this, you shut off this. Very little reaction time when you're the one that is going to know that you're going to shut the thing off. All you have to do is pull the tape a split second before I start everything. So when I so say three, two, one, go, you start moving at three. I mean, uh, one, three, two, one, you start moving a little bit and keep it moving at a steady pace so you don't run out of tape, okay? Let's try it. Why don't you get a close up of this for me? Three, two, one, go. All right, and then I stopped the watch at close to five seconds, and so I should have five seconds worth of dots. Stop. So now we have four, mi four seconds and 97 hundredths of a second's worth of dots. Count the dots up, divide by that time, and you got dots per second. Dots per second, one over that is seconds per dot, otherwise known as the period. Compare it with the known value of 60 hertz.